Welcome back to another Jail Golf Logs video. This is part two of the 9 0 solo scramble. Here's what happened in part one. Captain Power so far. Unfortunately, a bogey to finish, leaving me at one over par. Coming up in part two. I get it back to level par. Stay tuned to find out. Right, welcome back to part two of my solo scramble. As you know, it's two over target, currently one over through five. Last four rolls coming up. Sixth hole next, par three. It's not my favourite hole, as you know, I'm sort of prone to going in the water on this one. No birdies on the uh, part one, which is a bit annoying. Um, I had a good look on the second hole, and I'm um, unfortunately I'll bogeyed the last hole which was my which was the fifth hole right let's get into part two let's do this right first hole part two sixth on the course got about 185 to the middle uh to the back i'm gonna go smooth four uh four hole bit, i think Me, I think I'll be taking my first one, which was an awful shot. Second one was a better shot, but it just um, leaked a bit right in his right side of the green. But um, two shots and none in the water, I'll take that. So, right, a good bad one. That um, first one, which wasn't a nice shot at all, actually looks quite close, to be honest. Always looks a bit closer from back here. Definitely past the hole. Don't know how far past the hole it is. But, um, Second one, I think that that club was right to be honest. Sort of faded into wind a bit. Lamp, um, front edge of the green, the second one. Just starting a little bit right and just rolled off the right side of the green, but that looks really close to me. Still looking close, so hopefully, lucky birdie coming up. You see how lucky I was? Hit a couple of these mounds, took loads of pace out of it, rolled onto the green, and just left me that. Don't know how I manage that. The second one. Pin eye just to the right there. Right, one of my worst shots of the day. Could equal a birdie. Got to hold this one. That was actually a birdie in my first ball and first putt. So a genuine birdie that. Um, right, back to level par. Right, make my way on to the seventh. Par five this one. But it's uh, part of par five. Of the two on the front nine, show you a little picture. So, what we're looking at 540 it is quite long. I think it is playing in the wind as well, unfortunately. But get a good drive down there, takes a little bit of the pressure off. All right, seven tee shot, need a good one here. Yeah, 
was an amazing strike back to play, that's the main thing. Oh, it was par five as well. Well, it's a good start to the uh, part two. Start with a nice birdie. Getting a decent tee shot in the second one, so nothing worse than a par on this. It is quite a tough hole, to be honest. Um, second shot's quite hard as well. As you know, you've got bunk on the right, um, water left. All the fairway slopes into towards the water as well, so it shouldn't be too bad. Fairway's not rolling really fast today, which is a bit, we've had a bit of rain today, but still lovely condition. Shout out to the green keepers here. Do a lovely job. Greens are lovely. Just wish I could putt on them. All right, second shot on the seventh. Um, got two over in my hand. Just trying to get one between the bunkers and the water, really. Too bad. Didn't quite sit down, but I think it could be right side of the bunker. I think. Right, this is where my um second shot ended up. Uh, it's just right of the bunker. It's not a bad angle in to be honest. Got the ball a little bit below my feet. Got about 120 to the front. A little bit in the wind, so I'm going to go nine iron. Oh, Look at birdie that. I'm not going anyway. Not having that. Oh, it's a bit funky that one. Still made it up there. I think you take me first one. That's a nice shot that. Looks like about 10-12 foot. Well, unfortunately we've got a little bit of rain coming down. It's only a bit of fine stuff, but I'm hoping it holds off. I don't really like vlogging in the rain. The water gets all over the lens and all sorts. It's just a bit of a nightmare. But um, yeah, I've only got two holes to go after this one. So hopefully it holds off for another 20 minutes or so. Right, Brady Putt coming up. Right, Brady Putt, let's sink it. Par, not bad, but that second putt was awful. Got to stop doing that. Yeah, you can't leave. Once I've got a tapping par like that, you got you got to give it a chance. And a couple of times I've done that a day. Right, seventh tee shot. Par four, quite a long one. Should be a bit downwind though. Oh, right, second one to the rescue. Yeah, driver swing still ain't feeling great to be honest. It's a lot better than what it was and still I'm getting my distance on it now. I lost a lot of distance from my driver over the last uh, five or six weeks. Lost confidence in it and just slowed the swing up so much that even if I did it a good one, still struggling to get 20, uh, 200 yards out of it to be honest. Good second one that. Um, pin looks like it's at the middle. Another birdie maybe. All right, second into seven. Good job, I've got about 150 to the middle, downwind. I'm going to go 8 on. Yeah, not great. Two, two bad swings down in a row. Can't really do that in a scramble, but 
Just got to try and get up and down for par now from the front of the green. Not ideal. Alright, up and down time. Not the hardest one really. First one, I think. At least I played the shots that I wanted to. First one high, second one low. Right, got to make that for par. Right, see if I can get up and down. Well, that was much needed, that. Right, still level par. Last hole to go. Right, on to the ninth, my final hole of the day, level par still, going along nice, one bogey, one birdie, the rest pars. Uh, I was playing really far back today, nine, tempted to even go driver, but I'm going to stick to the two hybrid. Right, ninth, ninth and final tee shot. Lovely shot, I ain't gonna bother hitting another one. Probably ain't gonna hit it better than that. Right, all about the second shot this one, isn't it? Right, good tee shot to end the day. Now the ninth up here, so it's on the course. Um, second shot's really tough. Good job, I'll get two goes at it. Just anywhere up around the green, I'll take, try and get up and down for par. If not, bogey it the worst. And then uh, one over through nine, I'll take that. Seeing the target was two over. Right, send the second ones in there then, isn't it? Alright, second shot in the nine. Um, got about 195 to the middle. Um, it is downwind, but it's uphill. And it plays a lot longer than that, so two hybrid for me. It's going to take a good one to get there as well. Bunker, it's a bit better strike, but we're seeing we're up there. Got two to the left hand side. Oh, I actually played some really nice stuff today. Actually, got up and down quite a lot. I know it was a scramble, so you get two goes at everything, but take a bit of confidence from it. I'll just get up and down once more. Level par through nine, definitely take that. Just got to hope the both of the uh, approaches didn't find a bunker, otherwise, probably not going to get up and down from them. Right, just to the uh, front right of the green now. Right, we are, I was struggling for a bit of light near the end, so I'm not sure if a shot trace is going to work on the last hole or two, but um, quite a lovely, lovely finish there. It's nearly a chipping birdie on nine, but um, take a tap in par all day long on that hole. Uh, finished level par, which is um, better than what I was expecting. We targeted two over, so I beat that. And um, yeah, it's an enjoyable round. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, both parts, this is part two. Right, keep an eye, uh, keep an eye out for the next video. Until then, peace out. Up next on JR Golf Logs, I'll play six holes of golf using only four clubs. What can I shoot? Check out the next video to find out.